A dictator ship is a big ship in which they dictate us what to say and what to think. So you better learn to swim and prepare the rafts because this ship is gonna sink and hopefully taking its evil captains with it. So here it says in French, the Godfather, you listen to me now, or I shoot you with the LBD-40 by BNT, Brugger und Tomet, from CH Confederatia Helvetica, that means Switzerland. And in this film, I will give you some occult intel on this captain of the pink list killers and captain evil here also called the godfather became the president of france on may 14th 2017 and as he's fully aware of his personal pharaonic nobility's bloodline he wanted to be the pharaoh of France and celebrate in front of the Louvre Pyramid in Paris, France, right next to where the Knights Templars were burnt 700 years earlier. So, on the very day of his election to be the pharaoh of France for the next concept of four years over the slaves he celebrated as a true ancestral pharaoh in front of his pyramid which was actually forbidden to do so due to security issues and due to france's tradition for the newly elected president to go celebrate in the Elysee, the French presidential palace, also in Paris. And here it says, Pharaoh Macronos. And I'm not joking now, there actually is a pyramid which is called the Pyramid of Micrinos, and which is one of the three pyramids of Gizeh. The small one you know the big one is the pyramid of Cheops, <coughs> and the little one is the pyramid of micrinos it also has another name and i'll tell you more about it in a minute so and here it says ensemble la france it means together france here it says may the 7th 2017 so that was the day of the election and on may the 14th a week later he officially became the president and at the moment he's doing all these signs here all the time doing the pyramid and uh, so this is the pyramid of the louvre this is exactly like the pyramid of micrinos and um which is the pyramid of the da vinci code um, film as well so he knows where he's from. He knows about his ancestry. You know, you can see it here. You can see it here. And I'll show you some more. You'll be, you'll be astonished what you're going to see. So soon after that, he paid a presidential visit to Egypt, which is getting a bit suspicious as all these presidents visit Egypt during their presidential reign to visit the sites of the ancestors about whom he seems to be dreaming here or even be in direct spiritual contact through the voodoo practices they do about which I will give you solid proofs in this film. 
it says Pharaoh Makronos. And as I told you, there is a pyramid called Mikronos. And of course, so did President Macron visiting Egypt and its ancient artifacts, where his name, Macron, could very well be a modern version of Pharaoh Mikrinos. Mikrinos, Macronos, Macron, who had built one of the three Gizeh pyramids, the little one in fact, which is also called the Mikrinos pyramid. And in fact, here it says Mikrinos, which is the, uh, the Greek name of this uh, pharaoh here, whose demotic name is Menkaura. And in French, you would say Mikarinos with a, an, an, uh, an accent here on the E, accent uh, aigu. But I couldn't get that with the, uh, the, the big letters here. But in Greek, because the name, you know, there were many Greek uh, historians in ancient Egypt. So in Greek, you would pronounce this Mikrinos, Pharaoh Mikrinos. You know, Macronos, here he is, Macronos. And actually in Demotic, because Demotic is written only with the, um, with the consonants M, K, R, N, S. So the vocals, they're not even, you know, 100% uh, known. So, you know, this, um, this uh, Y could very well be an A. And I'm 100% sure that the name of this pharaoh is Macronos, and so is this one here, who is really meditating, as you can see here. She's trying to distract here the, the whole atmosphere here, you know, of the, of the other ones, because he is, he's going in trance, you know, and rolling his eyes, which I'm going to explain you later on. And he's very well at closing his eyes at the moment his eyes start rolling so you don't see it you know when they're getting white and demon possessed and I, i'm, I'm going to give you all the proofs in this video you'll see so mikrinos in greek menkaura which is interesting you know in the um in the haka where there is the pharaonic word ka for the soul you know, the warrior, he takes the soul of somebody else, the living soul, which is the ka, ha ka. And you say, you know, like, uh, kamata, you know, again, the ka, kamata, kamata, kaura, kaura, you know. And this guy, his demotic name is Menkaura. You know, these pharaohs were everywhere, but the people don't know it anymore because after two generations, you know, life got, goes on, you know, you make babies and you need some scoff, you know. People have never written anything down, so they don't even know anymore where the words come from. And but it's definitely the haka and, and the words. It's hundred percent pharaonic. Well, not hundred percent, but uh, the words are which are pharaonic in there. They are hundred percent demotic. So Pharaoh Mikrinos, Macronos. Here he is. We're being ruled by Pharaoh's nobility, and all the proofs are here. Pharaoh Mikrinos is also called Menkaure in Demotic, and he reigned over the Old Kingdom in the Fourth Dynasty from 2532 BC to 2503 BC, roughly four and a half thousand years ago. So here you see that this guy really existed, Mikerinos. If you pronounce that in Greek, you get Mikrinos, Macronos. And um, well, this is in French because in English, usually the name Menkaura, Menkaure is being used. And 
he commanded, commanditaire, he, um, he gave the order to build the pyramid of Mykrinos, this one here, which is one of the three pyramids of Gizeh. And this is why Macron, when he became the president, remember, he was standing here in front of that pyramid in Paris. Eh? And he reigned here from two and a half thousand before BC. And uh, here you can see this is, oh, you can't see that. So here's a whole list of, of pharaohs. Well, I'm not going to bother you or bore you with that. So, you know. You can just have a look. And uh, in fact, this uh, pharaoh, he was the grandson of uh, Pharaoh Cheops, who built the other pyramid there at Gizeh Plateau. The, um, in fact, the uh, the big one, the pyramid of, um, of Cheops. So, see, it's a whole list. I'm not just telling you something. Oh, there he is again, Mikrinos. You see? And um, he's an ancestor of the French president. I have, I have no doubt. You know. I have no doubt. So here's some more. Oh yeah, what is interesting? I show you the India in another image. Just a minute. So there he is again in uh, Wikipedia. And what is interesting that he's having the crown of um, the White House of Upper Egypt, the Perhet, as in fact the pyramid which he built is in Lower Egypt, the Pertasser. So you see, he was the king, Roi, of the, um, of the fourth dynasty. And he uh, is the um, Cheops. He was the grandson of Pharaoh uh, Cheops. And so I'll show you the whole thing here. There's a lot more you can read here. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the uh, the pyramid of um, uh, Mykrinos. So. President Macronos, Pharaoh Macronos, when he went to Egypt, he went here, no doubt. There are no pictures, but this is where he went, you know, the Pyramid of Mykrinos. And what is interesting, if I, if I put this in another language here, like English, I get here the name Menkaure, which is the, the name of Mykrinos, Use, used mostly in the English language. But as there were so many, like uh, there was Napoleon who, uh, who, who went to the pyramids and, um, and, and Mikrinos is in Greek because the, when the Pharaonic Empire, when they expanded first to Persia and then to, to Greece, you know, they, there's a lot of words from Demotic that became Greek. So, and I think, you know, the, the French language is far more precise as, for instance, the word uh, Antichrist, you know, it is with an E and not with an I because the Antichrist is not, he's not anti he's, or anti in, Eng in American, but in British English, anti, he's not against, you know, the savior, whatever, but he's before anti, anterior. You know, and in French, it's been written uh, correctly, not in English. Absolutely not. That's Hollywood style, you know, against or anti, anti-Christ. And it's the same with this here, Menkaure. And uh, because we don't really know them, Demotic. So um, I think the Greek name is, is, is more precise because, uh, and, and the Greeks, um, the Greek, they were there even like four and a half thousand years ago, you know. And um, so his name is, um, oh, here it says in English as well, Mykerinos. So it does say at the English site as well, the name uh, Mykerinos. So there you go. So now we got it officially. Um, 
all right here. So here you can read it in, uh, oh, here is again, Men Men um, Mikrinos by the goddess Hathor here. And the other one, so yeah, in a way, maybe his wife is representing Hathor, you know, Brigitte. As Hathor, she's a bit older as well, you know. Just as uh, just as uh, President Macronos, uh, you know, they always they always mirror ancient Egypt to present day, you know. And uh, and and on the other side, the goddess uh, Bat, oh, Batman, do 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 do, you know, <laughs> oh, the cow goddess, yeah. So, and um, there's the sun disk, and the cow, of course, that's uh, Apis, and the um, Hathor. My Hathor is also the the cow goddess. Uh, yeah, you know, we saw the same with President Barack Obama here, who looks exactly like um, Pharaoh Akhenaten, and his wife Michelle Obama looks exactly like Queen Tia, and here are the kids, you know. So, we definitely see how these pharaohs. They try to mirror ancient Egypt back or forwards into the present day times. And they're not very happy in America, neither are they in Europe with, the, with those Europeans. And uh, apparently they just want their lives at River Nile. They want that back. And we can see that everywhere. And also with this uh, Pharaoh Macronos. Oh, here we see the Egyptian goddess uh, Bat, and um, the name, you know, the the name of the wife of President Macron is uh, Brigitte. It also starts with a B and it has a T in it. So there is a kind of a similarity in the name, as they try to mirror ancient Egypt back from Bat to Brigitte. And um, so here we can see that Pharaoh again, and uh, the goddess Bat here, and this is Hathor, and with his crown of uh, Upper Egypt. Funny thing is, he's holding hands with Hathor and not with Bat. Uh, maybe this is his wife on Earth for the for the car. And this is his wife, like uh, in the heavens for the bar. And um, so they're definitely mirror mirroring uh, ancient Egypt into their present day lives. And um, so this pharaoh Mikrinos, uh, uh, he's, a, he's an important pharaoh. He was an important pharaoh. And um, just as the uh, the president of France, Pharaoh Macronos. So this here is the pyramid of Mikrinos, and uh, one of the three pyramids at uh, Gizeh. Mm. I'll let you all read it. I just wanted to show you another statue of Mikrinos. There he is. This is the uh, another statue of uh, Pharaoh Mikrinos, an important pharaoh. And uh, there he is. I wonder why he's holding his thumb up here like this. Maybe he was a hitchhiker like Homeros. And uh, so coming back also to the uh, to those like uh, to that statue. Uh, here it is. Here's that statue again of uh, Pharaoh 
Mikrinos with Bat. And of course, uh, the goddess Bat, you know, she's a goddess, so she's older than the pharaoh, just as the wife of uh, President Macron, Brigitte, be it Bat Brigitte. And uh, is that the reason that as they are mirroring everything from ancient Egypt, that the uh, that the wife of of uh, of Macron that she is uh, so much older. I think she's about twenty years older or something. Just like this here, the goddess and uh, the pharaoh. The goddess, much older, and here the pharaoh. Mikrinos, it sounds almost like uh, Macron, Macronos. But it almost sound, sounds like Brigitte, you know. It's the same, the same, the same consonants, at least. And that's what it was all was about, the uh, pharaonic language. It was only about the consonants. And uh, I mean concerning the writing as only the consonants were written so it's definitely kind of mirroring everything so around macron would there be a woman that could be hathor in his life there are things that are hard to understand for the simple human slaves like for instance the concept of soul and body, or the ba and the ka, which those pharaohs perfectly understand and can predict their next reincarnation with the help of witchcraft and of voodoo in their unholy alliance with the forces of evil. Like from Akhenaton, to Obama, or from Mikarinos to Macronos. So here I've written here in the image in the collage which I made. So this is 3D real life, which is the car. So I've written here when car becomes bar. So this here is the soul which is the the bar you know when you when you're not on earth like then it's the bar and then the soul alive like here it's the ka like the japanese ki the intrinsic energy uh, out of the chi uh, by the chinese and you can all see there's something happening here hey eh? the way he's closing his eyes and um the moment he starts rolling with his eyes, he always closes his eyes. Uh, I, and um, I will tell you more about this uh, later on. That's also why they chose him, because he's very, very good. And um, most likely a uh, reincarnation of Pharaoh uh, Macronos. Macronos II, so to speak. Look. Some of you are religious into their pharaonic belief system in the special edition adapted for the slaves. Like Jesus out of the royal house of King Pharaoh David with the three kings on donkeys coming to search where the new reincarnation baby is. We can find the same in Tibet, when also three lamas go and search for the next reincarnation baby of the Dalai Lama. So in this case it's the other way around. So this is the place for the souls, and here is the material world. And here the soul is flying into the new body. It's like a cabin, it's like in a science fiction movie really. So it says here, 
I've written this here in it, in the collage. The bar materializes into the car. So these pharaohs do also know when the next reincarnation of Pharaoh Akhenaten has happened. Therefore, Obama being prepared from a very early age on to become an important politician, as they literally mirror ancient Egypt into the modern world, a one to one projection of ancient Egypt for the insiders. So it says here to mirror ancient Egypt. And here you see Birdie Birdie taking the soul from the car to the bar and the other way around, of course. It is therefore that presidential candidate, Senator John Kerry, already as a young man, sitting in a sailing boat with President Kennedy. Well, who gets invited to go sailing with the president and his family? Just like that, huh? So here you can see John Kerry. There he is on August the 26th, 1962. And here, of course, JFK, John F. Kennedy. And here on the other side, we see the, the pharaonic transformation of souls from the bar to the car and the car to the bar. Because the word pharaoh, it comes etymologically out of the demotic words per and ah, pharaoh, per ah. In per, it means the house and Ah, it means big or pregnant, so it's the big house. And here you can see, it's just, just one big house all over the world. It's one big happy family out of Egypt and ruling over the entire world. Also, President Macron had been discovered and selected from a very young age onwards to become a world leader. And this is very well known in the media. They have talked a lot about this. So how come all this? Well, because these pharaohs somehow know where and when their next reincarnation will take place. Just as Pharaoh Inri, king of Judea, and Pharaoh Dalai Lama, they all come out of the same voodoo culture from River Nile called Kumet, ancient Egypt. And here, on the day of his election, on May the 7th, 2017, Ensemble la France, together France, it says here, Pharaoh Macronos, reincarnation. And this here is how the reincarnation works, according to the ancient pharaoh, pharaohs. <laughs> I mean, they've written it all down. This even looks like the cabin of Star Trek or something which is of course also based upon the same technique of ancient Egypt. Beam me up, Scotty. The work is going really good and humanity almost subdued into eternal slavery. It's as good as done. So there's time to relax and to be satisfied. And when time comes, the commitment will be rewarded with the final words being a relief. 
beam me up Scotty. So this is a real picture of Pharaoh Macronos with a tele objective and here it says beam me up Scotty. And this is what they believe. This is the this is the realm of the bar and this is the realm of the car. Then short after Pharaoh Macronos had become the president of France, he provoked the yelling vest riots, creating 30 all seeing eyes of young French men and women who had one eye shot out, just like Horus from ancient Egypt. Of course, this is all part of a pharaonic ritual by the masters of Pharaoh's nobility. So here it says, this is a real picture of Macronos on a, a water scooter. And it says here, 30 all seeing eyes of Horus. Here I've got only 20 accumulated because there was no more place in the collage. So, but there were in fact 30. And some of you might think 30 Frenchies one sidedly permanently blinded. Well, maybe the number was 33 of the consistory. Well, let me tell you that in this case, the number of 30 is even more important as it corresponds to the 30th degree of Pharaoh's Freemasons called Knight Kadosh of the Council of Kadosh, which is in fact the highest degree of the Council of Kadosh. And you remember this word very carefully because I will speak more about it and it's very important. And I think it's even more important than uh, the 33rd degree, you know, which is the consistory. The upper three degrees is the consistory, degree 31, 32, 33, which is like, well, sort of the presidency, but they don't really, it's not really where the action is. This is where the action is, you know, all this a lot of military stuff. And you see the X, you always see, you know, on the French um, Revolution Day of uh, July 14th at the, um, at the Arc de Triomphe, the Arc of Triumph, you see the French uh, Foreign Legion and they walk with an X, which is really funny. I mean, they've never been battling with an X, the Foreign Legion. I mean, they were, um, they were founded in the 19th century and the first commandant, the first commander was a Swiss colonel von Stoffel and they were founded by um, King uh, Philip II, I think it was, who lived most of his life in Switzerland. And um, so in the 19th century, they already had guns and all that. So they were never battling with an axe. So why are the legionnaires walking around with an axe? Well, this is why. And the X corresponds at night of the royal X. So the legionnaires on Revolution Day, they walk around within, with the royal X. Now, what is the royal X? Well, I'll tell you maybe another time. But this is all like night and night this and night that, you know. And here is the 30th um, degree. And it's called Knight Kadosh. This one with the double-headed eagle, um, eagle, which is in fact a, uh, a falcon, double-headed falcon. Here it's white, here it's black, you know, the colors of the, uh, the Freemasons. 
these things are almost like a swastika. You just pull it a little bit here and here four times and you get a swastika. And the Knights Templars, they also use this. And I think the Order of Malt still uses this. And um, and all these uh, these medals, you know, the royals and the aristocrats are having on their breasts, you know, these sort of things as well. And there's, of course, the word Ka for the soul in it. The Knight Kadosh, so, number 30. So you remember this very well. I will explain you some more. And here it says the Council of Kadosh and the Consistory. The Consistory, only these three here. Yeah. Usually older men. And, um, but here's where it really gets dangerous. I know these are the execution, executioners. This is just the headset, you know, like the generals or. The number 30, as in 30 French, all seeing eye civilians, blinded by Swiss guns for Pharaoh Macronos, and the 30th degree of the Knight Kadosh in Freemasonry, are related to the Battle of Kadesh by. Ramses the Great in 1274 BC, which is the best documented battle in ancient history, and for Pharaoh and their Freemasons, really the number one symbol for conquering other peoples, perfectly symbolized by 30 all-seeing eyes of victory over the French people. And here you can see it in Wikipedia, the Battle of Kadesh. You see it's actually the same word as the Knight of Kadosh. Um, sometimes because of the demotic, there's a little bit difference, you know, over the ages uh, in the vocals because I didn't write any vocals. But Kadesh, Kadosh, you know, it's the same. And here it says uh, 1274 BC. So that's, uh, what was that, three and a half thousand years ago. And what I wanted to show you here, which is important, or you can read the whole thing about the battle, but we have to think for ourselves, you know, what's really going on because they lied to us. Uh, so here's Kadesh. So here's ancient Egypt with the uh, uh, Cairo here and the River Nile. And here's Kadesh. Uh, what is interesting, maybe I can show the bigger picture. Yes, well, almost. Um, no, not really. So this here is Israel. And this is Syria and Lebanon. It, it was Syria in those days, now it's Lebanon. And this is exactly Kadesh. It's exactly the place where the biggest Knights Templar commandery used to be. And there's still a village of Saint Jean d'Acre, Acres. So I don't think that's a coincidence. That Kadesh is exactly there where the Knights Templars were and still are. Uh, they are the ones who rule over the Middle East and, uh, as well. And so this is important, and I want you to remember this. Uh, remember the stance here in this picture of the, uh, the Battle of Kadesh, with his one arm stretched and the other one like this. Because this is, again, a hidden symbol they use. And I'll show you that Pharaoh Macronos is doing this a lot, which is not a coincidence. I think it's been shown one more time here. No, I didn't fit into the picture. And um, see, there it is again. It's a symbol of uh, conquering other peoples. You know, like by shooting their eyes out, and exactly 30 times. 
because the number 30 degree is far more important than the number 33 because um, as they're not as old as the number 33, you know, they're far more active in certain things. At the 30th degree, you know, like giving orders and that's why it's called the degree of a knight, while the other one is just more like, um, like the presidency or, you know. So Kadesh, Kadosh, same thing, people. A little correction needed because I had the wrong map or the wrong interpretation before. So here's the town of Kadesh, which is in fact in Syria. And um, so here is Kadesh. And this in fact, uh, it wasn't Israel, this is Lebanon. And Israel is here. So uh, Acres or Saint Jean d'Acre of the Knights Templars uh, was and still is here. And this is Kadesh. And what is interesting that um, about Kadesh and the, uh, the Battle of Kadesh, the Greek historian Herodotus, he also wrote about it. And this is why, because there's a lot in Greek, you know, like the, uh, the stone of uh, Rosetta, you know, for instance. They were very present in, uh, in ancient Egypt. And of course, these Greek scholars, they were already, you know, descendants of the ancient Egyptians due to the uh, pharaonic expansion, which uh, had them come to, uh, to Greece and Italy, and now they're all over. And uh, this is why we find the name in Greek, like for Pharaoh, uh, Mykerinos, uh, Macronos, which is adopted by many countries uh, using the Greek name, uh, because these, uh, these Greek pharaohs or Greek ancient Egyptians, descendants of the um, Egyptians, they, um, they wrote down a lot of things in, uh, in Greek, you know, to, uh, to keep the, um, the pharaonic history, to, to preserve it for the uh, descendants and for further generations as writing things down is very important for pharaoh you know the people they don't care you know you just need some scoff and have, have a booze and all the other earthly things but they want to write everything down just like in a nobility in a in a in a, in a aristocratic house you know the um the ancestors and and the whole um the whole thing is um, is very important. Um, the genealogy is very important for nobility and for pharaohs. As for normal people, it's not. Uh, they don't care, you know, live the day and um, they don't even think about the future. They certainly don't anticipate it and all the evil things what's coming up. Eh? Kadesh or Kadosh has the same demotic pharaonic word ka for soul in the name kadesh or kadosh because in a war you take one's living soul which is the ka for pharaoh and contrary to the eternal ba soul so here we see Battle of Kadesh. And remember this stance here. I'm going to talk about this. It's very important. Here we also see the concept of three, which is them, our masters. And here, this is the Scottish Rite, uh, the 30th degree, Knight Kadosh, which is very much the same and related to the Battle of Kadesh. It used to be exactly the same word, which it still is, in fact, Kadesh or Kadosh, you know. And here you see the double-headed eagle uh, in an octagon in the Knights Templars colors of white and red. So Kadosh is Kadesh. And if you see politicians doing this, 
you know what it means. And I will show you that Pharaoh Macronos is doing it all the time. And so did Adolf Hitler. The Battle of Kadesh is so significant for our masters because this battle by Ramses the Great was more or less the first big international battle of Pharaoh and it was battled far away from Kumet, which means the original Egypt at River Nile. Kumet is demotic for Egypt. So here it says the Council of Kadosh and here Kadesh battle. Commander, like in a commandery, you know, Commander Bond, for instance. It's all the same, st same stuff, people. Therefore, on September 26th, 1976, the mummy of Pharaoh Ramses the Great, the big pharaonic warlord of the Battle of Kadesh, was received by his descendant, French President Giscard d'Estaing, whom you can see here with his wife at Le Bourget Military Airport with full military honors by the French Republican Guard, all with their swords held vertically in front of them to salute a dead mummy from three and a half thousand years ago. So this is a screenshot from the original footage of the arrival and the reception of the mummy with uh, full military honors, of which I'll give you the link. Apparently, the Egyptian state even made a passport for the dead mummy, which I couldn't verify. So here you see the passport for the mummy here, and um, I'll put the links of the videos in the, um, in the description for you. And on top is the other one with the official footage in color of the arrival of the mummy by the French President Pharaoh Giscard d'Estaing. And the video is in English, so you will enjoy that. The link will be in the description under the video here. And here too, in a official French news bulletin from September the 26th, 1976, they talk around 13 minutes into the news outlet. They talk about the arrival of a fair, the mummy of Pharaoh Ramses the Great by the French president Valéry Giscard d'Estaing. And um, I'll put the link again in the description. There's also some interesting footage, this time in French, but so here you see the title and uh, where you should look at like uh, 13 minutes in. <laughs> but hey, if the pharaohs salute their ancestor with military honors, then it must be true about the official passport that got issued. So here you see the, um, the Republican French guard with their swords. Here's the airplane, military airport. Eh? And this is a picture from 1976. And here you see the box where the mummy is in. Here you can see partially written O. Oh, H-A-U-T, which means uh, up or top. Like a, um, like a nowadays um, Amazon delivery or something. So the pharaoh can have his face up and doesn't have to be uh, um, kissing the dirt or something. 
French Republican Guard for a dead mummy. Can you believe it? Only one year later, after the arrival of the mummy of Ramses the Great in Paris, France, Pharaoh President Macronos was born on winter solstice, December 21st of 1977. So, if you subtract nine months pregnancy off his date of birth, we'll get at March 21st, 1977, when his mother got impregnated naturally or inseminated artificially six months after the arrival of a mummy Ramses the Great at the military airport of Le Bourget in Paris, France, only six months later. Six months later, the inspector Cluzeau found the Pink Panther, the wife of Pharaoh Macronos by the name of Brigitte Macron, whom you can see here, was born on April the 13th, 1953, and she was 24 at the time of the birth of Pharaoh Macronos. She was a grown-up woman. She married Pharaoh Macronos when he was 30 years old, on October the 20th, 2007. Well, that's what pharaohs do. They marry their sisters, and if that doesn't work out, they marry their mothers. Fuck your mother, and your son will be your brother. Moreover, the official parents of Macronos are doctors, physicians, and university professors working in the scientific domain. Both his mother, Françoise Noguet, and his father, Jean-Michel Macron, and who are, of course, well acquainted with cloning and artificial insemination, who are assumably merely his technical parents, in the most science fictional sense of the word, while his wife, but or Brigitte, assumably is his surrogate mother. So here you can see President Valéry Giscard d'Estaing from a long line of French kings, officially, and his wife, Amon, as well, officially from a long line of kings. The genealogy proves it. So here they're standing in front of their ancestor in a box, like from Amazon of Pharaoh Ramses the Great of the Battle of Kadesh. And her name, Amon, it really sounds like Anke Animon, which was the, uh, the, the wife of a pharaoh. And here it says, Pharaoh Ramses in Paris, 26th of September, 1976. Six months later, this guy here, he got impregnated in March 1977, like nine months before his birth. And this, assumably, must have been the reason for our masters to invite mummy Ramses to Paris, receive him with military honors and issue him a passport 
which is altogether quite awkward. And we know there's something terribly wrong with that, especially knowing that the masters lie and hide without end while they've been working secretly on all sorts of high-tech weapons and other sci-fi scientific progress about which we can only dream of and not even that as it entirely surpasses our imagination all this pharaonic outerworldly stuff so here it says the Ramses DNA was taken on 26 09 1976 September the 26 1976 and here's the Republican Guard in Paris at Le Bourget Airport and this guy soon after he was born on the 21st of December 1977 on a winter solstice and the winter solstice this is the day on which there are rumors on which Lucifer fell from the heavens I can't verify this I don't know but there are rumors and on this day a lot of um, satanic rituals are happening like the one on December the 21st 2015 when I had to leave Switzerland being completely terrorized by the um, by the Swiss Nazi police while some Swiss pinkless killer butchered an entire family a mother with three children which you can see in this video here which got deleted uh, by YouTube and you can find it here so this is the title here and you can find it on my channel Gure at uh, the Brighton free speech with some more videos that got deleted like this one and this one and many more actually so this is what they do you know they at the same time I was held at the police station together with my wife for the whole day so and my whole family getting terrorized on december the 21st on winter solstice 2015 so they take energy from one place and they use it on another place you have no idea the horrible rituals are taking place on winter solstice december the 21st I even met people who told me they were former colleagues of Pharaoh Macronos in going to parties with him and that he allegedly lived with another bloke, with another pink panther so to speak and not at all with his alleged wife, his mother or whatever she is. I will tell you more about this later on. Here's a facial reconstruction of Pharaoh Ramses the Great on the left hand side and next to Pharaoh Macronos of France to the right. And here, right bottom, like here, there's uh, that red and white thing on his breast he's always wearing and it's a red rose symbolizing the Pertasser red house of Pharaoh from lower Egypt and it also re represents in a minor degree the Rosicrucians so here's maybe a better picture of that red rose here maybe it's a little bit sharper the other one wasn't really that sharp so there is a slight resemblance with the um, the 
facial reconstruction of uh, Pharaoh Ramses and um, Pharaoh Macronos of France here. But there's a bigger resemblance with this guy here, with the, um, the former president, uh, Valéry Giscard d'Estaing. President Valéry Giscard d'Estaing, a true royal descendant of kings and pharaohs, who lived in a huge castle, and he was the French president at the time, who received on September 26, 1976, the mummy of Ramses the Great with equally great military honors. And he looked like this, bearing a remarkable resemblance with the mummy of his ancestor, Ramses II. So here's the French president in 1976, Valéry Giscard d'Estaing. This is a real picture of him. And this is the mummy of his ancestor, whom he received. Well, we can all see definitely the resemblance concerning the same genealogy of these two here. I visited his huge castle some years back, which you can see in this video here. And here is the title on the same channel. So, Pharaoh Giscard d'Estaing ruling France. Well, you can read it yourself. Um, he was a real descendant of French kings and, uh, of course, of pharaohs. I mean, there's a reason he imported the uh, Ramses the Great. And I also visited the castle of Rambouillet, which you can see here, where Pharaoh Estaing held the very first G6 meeting in history on November 1975, which I filmed in this video here about the murder of French minister Robert Boulin in November 1979, in the same area, around the same time, and under the same president. A lot of evil happened in this time, and around Pharaoh Estaing, with many people getting suicided or accidented around the very time Pharaoh Macronos got born on winter solstice in 1977. I'll put the links of the videos in the description box under the video, if I don't forget. So here's the title, what was it, five years ago? And it's on the same channel. So here we can see Pharaoh Ramses the Great standing here with his bow in the Kadesh stance. And therefore the 30th degree in Freemasonry, the Council of Kadosh, and the 30th degree of the Knight of Kadosh is um, probably, to my opinion, the most dangerous degree in Freemasonry because it's very much related to Pharaoh Ramses the Great and the Battle of Kadesh. And for these pharaohs ruling over humanity, Ramses the Great is the most important pharaoh of all times for them, and therefore called the Great. Because with the Battle of Kadesh by Ramses the Second and Ramses the Great, the Pharaonic expansion really started. 
for the conquest of the entire world, most of all through infiltration, which is what President Kennedy talked about in his famous speech. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies on covert means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. It is a system which has conscripted fast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific and political operations. Octogon, as you can see here. Pharaoh Ramses, the Battle of Kadesh, and here, degree number 30, the Knight of Kadosh. Octogon, the double-headed eagle of the Knights Templars. Here we can see John F. Kennedy and uh, with um, Senator John Kerry around again when he was a lot younger, friend or foe. So this John F. Kennedy speech, which triggered his assassination by the Swiss Octogon of the Nazi Templars, and to which the Mafia belongs, as I've proven you in my videos. Well, this expansion of this monolithic and ruthless conspiracy really started with the Battle of Kadesh three and a half thousand years ago. And there he is again, John Kerry sailing with the president. Well, that happens to us all, eh? Just go sailing with the president. And it's therefore that Pharaoh Macronos of France did the Kadesh stance, signifying Pharaoh's conquest of the world, subduing all the tribes of this world, and in this very case, the Slavic tribes, as Pharaoh Macronos transmitted the Kadesh stance in a world event in a universal transmission to all his clan members only four years before the Ukraine war, and as a global kick-off sign for the powers in charge. The event even took place in Moscow, the capital of the invaders' nation, Russia on July the 15th, 2018, and barely one year in power for Pharaoh Macronos. So you can see here it's written, Ramses II, the Kadesh battle. So they all know that this symbolizes the, this is really the symbol of the Kadesh battle. And here it says the Kadesh stance in Moscow, July the 15th, 2018. And you see, it's the same position, one arm stretched, like here and here, for the bow. You know, you keep the bow, this is like bow here, you know. And the other one here, in an angle, like here. You're gonna pull the bow, you bring it up, and then you bring your hand down, you know, until it's here, and then you shoot. 
you know, and this is a kickoff sign for the next wars coming up. And these are the Slavic wars now, as we might call them, against the Slavic tribes again. And uh, they always transmit the secret signs and secret symbology. Everything is secret. I mean, it's such an awkward way to stay, to stand, you know, you don't do it like automatically or naturally. He does it because of this. And this is related with Ramses II coming to Paris in 1976, just six months, you know, before he got impregnated. Yeah. It's all related, you know. His good friend, the Black Prince, was there too, with a big smile all over his face, because finally he got the green light officially to become famous as the respected warlord, leading the next big Kadesh battle in order to entirely annihilate the rest of the white tribes by destroying the Slavic tribes. So here he is, the Black Prince with his red tie of the Red House of Pharaoh. And the moment he saw the Kadesh stance, he knew from now on, this is the kickoff sign just as the kickoff in football. And he's already dreaming of the war, which eventually started four years after this, or three and a half years actually. During this July 15th, 2018 World Cup soccer event, where France's Nubian team, with hardly any indigenous French in it, won the World Cup, enabling Pharaoh Macronos to live his favorite pastime of grabbing naked Nubians and hold them in his arms, with the Black Prince standing next to it, with a big smile all over his face. For Pharaoh Macronos, it was like being back on River Nile again, with only Nubian slaves around and without those obnoxious white tribesmen around anymore. And here you see the Nubian slaves. You see how they're all tied? You know, they're slaves, they're prisoners. Their hands are tied, you know, they, they go all ropes around their necks and everything, you know. And here are the pharaohs, you know. They never were like um, Nubian pharaohs or something. It came later on because of the expansion when pharaoh became the kings uh, all over the world. And of course also in the Nubian world, but they were no real Nubians, as the nobility never is real original or indigenous from whatever country they are. They always stay pharaonic. So the Nubian race, you know, they've always been slaves for Pharaoh. And this is where the whole idea comes from, you know, bringing Nubian slaves into the America, into the Americas, with the ships belonging to the Swiss. I made a video about this on one of my other channels. Oh, it's so good to be really Pharaoh again. Pharaoh Macronos must have thought. And here you see the Nubians were slaves. You know, the Pharaohs are beating them up. You know, there never were any Nubian kings, you know, which is called Afrocentrism. But I can reassure you. There weren't any white kings either, or white pharaohs, nor Asians. 
the pharaohs that just mix, like here, you know, they just mix with other peoples. Until after five generations, the uh, the end pro product looks really like the uh, like a Nubian or Asian, but inside it will still be pharaonic, or it can look white, like these two here. It looks perfectly white, but inside they're all it's all pharaonic, and this is the same with Nubian kings. They they just the pharaohs just expanded to um, to Nubia in the uh, south uh, sudan and um, this is how it happened you see nubians uh, have always been slaves of pharaoh um, after the jaywalkers or together with the jaywalkers they were the first slaves um, anyway and this is how the whole idea came from of bringing them to the americas he did the same on summer solstice June 21st, 2018, where he grabbed some Nubian pink list killers openly in front of all the media and inside the Elysee presidential palace, openly and deliberately provoking the indigenous French population. So this is all this is outside uh, at the at the at the courtyard in the courtyard of the presidential palace and this is inside it says summer solstice June 21st 2018 in a direct defiance towards the indigenous french one of the pink list killers even shows a t-shirt where it says son of an immigrant, Nubian and pink list killer. Here it says, I'm not even going to pronounce it um, due to the censorship. So it says here the son of a uh, immigrant, a Nubian and a pink list killer. And it was on June the 21st, 2018 in the presidential palace. And here it says presidential palace. And just look at the eyes. I'm going to tell you some more about the eyes here. This is a very important issue here. And look at the white around the rolling eyes of this dancing pink list killer, which means that she, he, or it, I don't know anymore, is demon possessed, which I'll explain you later with more proves so here it says demonic possession voodoo dance this is a sign of a demonic possession and there are more i'll show you more here's another pink list killer uh, these are the journalists uh, watching taking nice pictures and macron macronos pharaoh macronos he's watching it as this is the presidential palace with the pillars here and these special things here on the, on the flags it's really uh, aristocratic stuff here on the flags it's called the Elysee so they're doing voodoo dance in the palace oh. and this one here even has his tongue stuck out in an awkward unnatural manner which is also a sign of demonic possession. So here it says demonic possession in the palace. And here's that that thing here again. I don't know how to call it, or a he or a she or whatever. So I call it a thing. Okay? So don't censor me. I really don't know how to call them anymore. So it's not my problem, is it? So this thing here is standing here as well. It's the same one. And look at this tongue here, and look at the eyes, people. And, you know, the Nubians, they all think, oh, it's nice, we're invited, you know, in the palace, and, you know, we are in France and accepted, and all the other woke people, they think the same. And the left people, they think, oh, isn't it wonderful, you know, that this is why the president, he did this, you know, 
to show us where we are one big melting pot and this is the new Europe, you know. But no, 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 no. It was not about this. It was about the demonic possession, the voodoo, the ritual on summer solstice, the 21st of June uh, 2018. And it is about the voodoo. It has nothing to do with the races and the the, the nice left-wing stuff and the dancing. It does have nothing to do with this. It has to do with what I've been writing here and here. It's a ritual on summer sources. That's what it is about and nothing else. So I want you left-wing people. I mean, I'm not right-wing. I'm not left-wing. I'm not a racist. So I want you left-wing people, woke people or whatever, you know, to think about this, you know, because it's getting very serious, you know. There's another issue going on here, and it's not at all what you think it is. And why do you think they're all wearing sunglasses, huh? Well, because they know the eyes go rolling in a minute already now. So here, look, this is the same guy. This is the bigger picture. They're all having sunglasses here, here. I mean, it shouldn't even be allowed, you know, there are the security guys. I mean, this is the presidential palace. You can't wear a mask or sunglasses, you know, it wouldn't be allowed, you know. So, but it happens because they don't want everybody to see the white rolling eyes here everywhere, you know. That's why they've got the sunglasses on, the shades. So here's the guy with his tongue here. Look, he's got some nice shoes on here. And here's the other girly behind it uh, with the rolling eyes, or oh, whatever it is. And uh, here's the flag of the European community, you know, so this is, uh, they're behind it as well, of course. This is the guy with the nice t-shirt, another one here. And um, it's a ritual, it's a ritual. So look at the chandelier, you know, this is the presidential palace. I mean, this is really aristocratic. And here's some security guards, there's bodyguards of uh, Pharaoh Macronos. Here you got all these devils looking down on it. I don't know what this kind of yellow slime is, which is dripping down the stairs. And um, I mean, why, why does he have to show his titties, you know, why? I don't get it. Presidential palace. I mean, it should be uh, elite with chandeliers and, you know, something noble. Okay. Due to the censorship, I cannot say uh, what I want. And uh, so this was uh, June 21st, still, 2018, summer solstice. And uh, when pharaoh macronos he just got uh, elected uh, president very soon after you got these sort of things happening and all this here is also very much connected to a former minister called uh, jack lang about whom there are a lot of rumors and maybe even facts uh, which i'm not allowed to pronounce but you can look it up yourself Jack Lang, just the way you say it. Doesn't sound very French though. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the show. Well, that's about all I'm allowed to say. I hope you enjoyed the show. I mean, nothing else is allowed there. Eh? And, uh, oh, look, this um, Inspector Clouseau is, is also here. Look, one of these bodyguards is uh, Inspector Clouseau. Six months later, Inspector Clouseau is uh, probably um, talking to the bodyguard and, and, and telling him, uh, I know where is the pink panther. I found many pink panther. Winter solstice on December the 21st is a much bigger satanic ritual. But well, 
that would be a bit cold for these half naked Nubian XLBS pinkless killers to go dance around in a voodoo ritual, rolling their eyes and what not. Therefore, a more preferable temperature comparable to River Nile as on June 21st summer solstice is far more suitable. It says XLBS in the palace. So if you want to see the video like here on YouTube, here you see this is YouTube, um, you can see them going at it here, you know, in here. And mind you, this is still the presidential palace, the Elysee, with the French flags and the pillars. It looks really pharaonic. I think there's four here for the concept of four. I don't know if to the left, if there are any more. I don't think so, because this is the main entrance here. So two here and two there. You see that, well, that it stops here. So here is the video or one of the videos. There are many. So this is the title, you can copy paste it and here's the channel name. So you can see in live action and see them going at it like here. So if you want to see more, you punch this here, Macron Fête de la Musique in uh, YouTube, as you can see here. So there are lots of videos and um, I cannot put it in my video due to the copyright problems, which I would get. So you can look at the pictures here and there are many, many videos about it. Here are more. So if you want to know more, about the present day France and why there's so many protests going on and the people are really, you know, they want, they're tired of all this, so. Or you can also use the same title here as before and put uh, BFM TV in front of it. Then you get also a lot of these because I think these were the ones, as you can see here, that really filmed it all. I think that was the only TV station that really filmed it all. So, okay, that's it, people. Go and have a look yourself. As nothing is allowed anymore due to the dictate of this global ship called dictatorship, I have to use other words to avoid problems and censorship. Therefore, the replacement words like pinkless killers and therefore letters, which I replaced by my own four letters, namely X L B S. And here's Inspector Clouseau who is saying, Where is the pink painter, the X L B S? Then on September 30th, and still in the year of 2018, Pharaoh Macronos couldn't resist the temptation one more to grab and hug some naked Nubian males, just as in the good old days at River Nile, when Pharaoh could just grab some naked Nubian slaves and use them for whatever things. I don't even want to know. So here it says September 30th, 2018. So these are all real pictures and they were real scandals in France, but nothing will ever change. Eh? This time though, the naked Nubians did the stinky finger and the other one, the devil's horns in front of the media and all the cameras. While Pharaoh Macronos frantically tried to glue himself onto the naked Nubians skin. 
all these pharaonic provocations by Pharaoh Macronos and many more finally led just a few days later after Pharaoh Macronos, his latest Nubian hogs, to the French Yelling Vest uprising in the very same month of October 2018 when it all started. So you can see here the president, he's really agitated, having a very good time. And this one here is doing the stinky finger. He is doing the devil's horns with all these sort of MS-13 signs and tattoos and all that. I mean, this is the president of a big and very influential country. You know, people were shocked. I just want to show you the timeline itinerary in progress, how one thing led to the other. So to the right, we see September 30th, 2018, and Macronos, his latest provocation towards the French people, which must have been the last drop of water before the flooding of a genuine tsunami on the streets of France, just one week later of the yelling vests with many dead, forever blinded, limbs torn off and many severely injured for life. So we can ask ourselves, was this deliberate? Oh, yes, of course it was. And now, in February 2023, it's happening again in France. In the think tank for social engineering, they said to themselves, look, we have a president with a certain preference for naked Nubian males. How can we use this? for the Ordo Ab Kao, making order out of the chaos. I mean, this is what it is. So look at the itinerary. First this and all the other provocations I, I just showed you before, which happened all before. And this happened on September the 30th, 2018. And it came in all the newspapers the day later in October, 2018 and then this started in the same month you don't think that this here is related with this here and all the other provocations this fellow here what he did of course it is and it's even deliberate people they don't i mean he knows the cameras are all there he knows he's being filmed he's being taken a picture of he knows it you know, so it is deliberate. I mean, uh, it's not, they are not stupid. This is deliberate. This is what they do. This is Ordo Ab Kao in progress, people. So from the summer solstice ritual of June 21st, 2018, by Pharaoh Macronos, and then three weeks later, the Kadesh stance of Pharaoh Macronos on July 15th, 2018. Things rapidly deteriorated, which was, of course, the plan of the Ordo Abkao technique of Pharaoh's Freemasons and Pharaoh's think tanks. So here you see June 2018, then we got July 2018, then we had September 2018, then October 2018. Every month there was a new scandal and many more in, in between. I'm, I'm not going to show them all. So the important thing here is you must look at the itinerary you must look at the timeline in history. 
like what happened before and what happened afterwards to understand what the plan is. Otherwise, you will never understand it. You must write it all down, all the dates, like here, from June to July, from September to October, and make a timeline, you know, because otherwise you will not understand it. This is very important to understand their techniques and their strategies, which is the same thing now with the Ukraine war. If you don't look at the before and the afterwards, you will not understand the event going on. Like you will not understand this if you haven't seen this and understood it. And there's only one month in between. And you won't understand this if you won't have a look at this and the September and the October afterwards, which I've just shown you. You will not understand it. Yeah. Look, he's looking the other one deep in the eyes and look how he's blushing here, completely blushing. He's more than happy. I'm not allowed to tell you due to the censorship what that means, so I won't. So Pharaoh Macronos did it on some more occasions, hugging some naked male Nubians, which is probably related to the fact that when I once was taken hitchhiking by an ex Rothschild banker from Luxembourg who told me that Pharaoh Macronos is allegedly not even living together with that woman Brigitte or Bat. Due to the censorship, I cannot say more. But you can see his witness account here in this video in French. So it's the same channel. Here is uh, was that uh, the guy from Luxembourg, and here's the uh, the witness account. It's not very long, and this is an interesting video as well. I also have it in English. How uh, Macronos he was in a um, in a Templar school in Strasbourg, where the European Community is seated. If you look at Pharaoh Macronos, his cut. It is a funny way of standing with one arm stretched out and the other bent behind. And we can all see this doesn't come naturally. Well, at least I've never done it. Well, it symbolizes how Pharaoh Ramses the Great has been depicted everywhere standing on an Egyptian chariot pulled by two horses and holding a bow and arrow. So Pharaoh Macronos in the Kadesh stance is symbolizing Pharaoh holding a bow and arrow for killing the adversary in some imperialist war, as in this case, by the empire within, so beautifully described by John F. Kennedy. The Kadesh stance by the enemy within symbolizes the beginning of a new war in their conquest over all the human tribes, including the European warrior tribes. Just as Caesar and the Romans subdued the Western European Celt and Germanic tribes and eventually replaced them with Pharaoh's beloved Nubians and whatnot. And now it is the turn for the Eastern European tribes in order to crush Slavic nationalism. As I have already explained to you in a previous film last year, when the Ukraine war started. So again, therefore, he did it in Moscow, 
on July the 15th, 2018. There's a lot happened in that year around this Macronos guy. And here, later on in the cabins with the Nubians, he was doing it and they, you see, he's trying to, to repeat it and to copy the same thing, but it's not as perfect as this one here, which you can see. And the Nubian, of course, he has no idea whatsoever what he's doing and what this one here is thinking. We can see Adolf Hitler doing the same Kadosh stance as Pharaoh Macronos. So you think it is a coincidence? They all do it and all just got the same idea of this physically unnatural and awkward position, huh? Due to the censorship of the dictate, I'm not allowed to say that there is a mighty XLBS conspiracy going on. So, YouTube, you didn't hear me saying that, right? Because, in fact, I didn't say it. Okay? Is that clear? Here, once more, you can see Macronos in the dressing room grabbing the half-naked Nubians on July the 15th, 2018, in Moscow. The dominator pharaoh and his invincible Kadosh stance. Shall I dominate you tonight, or are you gonna dominate me? Oh boy, does he look happy and almost in total ecstasy. And here again, on another occasion, he grabs a sand Nubian, and in utter joy and ecstasy, having his eyes closed while towards the indigenous French people, he never behaves like this, but shouts and swears at the Frenchies, insults them, calling them lazy and that they don't work enough, which he really said amongst many other things. There's a total discrepancy in between how he treats the indigenous French people and his beloved naked Nubians. So here to the left, it says Paris Macronos during that Macronos feast on June the 21st in 2018 in Paris. Look at the eyes, it's all white. And here it says the exorcist Bob Larson. Well, this is not Bob Larson. Um, and um, this is uh, a Nubian getting um, helped by the exorcist, uh, Bob Larson. So when people are demon possessed, it always shows at certain agitated moments how the eyes roll upwards leaving only the white of the eye visible when the demon is manifesting and taking over control of its host, which we can see here during a Bob Larson exorcism on some Nubian spirits. So these are two different persons. There are many videos of uh, the exorcist uh, Bob Larson. Here you can see his hands and here with the Bible. I'm not religious really, I'm not a Christian, but uh, I, I believe this is true what he's doing. I mean, you can, you can see it. And I'll put the links of these videos in the description so you can have a look yourself. And so this is what you um, have to look for. These eyes rolling and getting white and the tongue hanging out and all that. And... Um, which we saw in uh, in Paris at the um, which we could see there at the uh, 
the summer solstice uh, ritual of Pharaoh Macronos. Or here, to the right, during a voodoo ritual. And here, to the left, some YouTuber suddenly manifesting demons. And especially these Nubians, they bring a lot of witchcraft into the Western world. And the witchcraft, actually, the Nubian witchcraft by the Nubians, it all comes from Pharaoh, anyway, who expanded first to the south, to, to the Nubian world. And that's really where all the witchcraft comes from. And now it's, I think the continent is completely uh, full of these uh, voodoo witchcrafts. And the same thing is happening now in the Western world, in Europe, in America. And it's, it's getting really bad. So here you can see the American exorcist, yeah, Bob Larson, at work. And this is one of the Nubians who got exorcised. One of the two I just showed before, because they were two different ones. And you see there are three big dudes, very big, who, who need all, and here's another one behind, who need all their powers to hold them. Because when people have demons and when they are manifesting, they are incredibly strong, inhumanly strong. And uh, so go and have a look at these uh, videos. So here you see the white in the eyes again. The same thing, the same manifestation I saw there at the uh, uh, summer solstice, uh, Macronos um, ritual, together with the guy with his tongue sticking out, which they also, also do. And um, so go and have a look at uh, Bob Larson. So here you see the guy sticking out his tongue. And this is Bob Larson. He's um, helping him, uh, doing an ex exorcism. And he's sticking his tongue out very much the same as the other Nubian in Paris at uh, the uh, summer solstice uh, ritual of Pharaoh Macronos. <coughs> So here's his channel, and here's the title, uh, Bob Larson. Go and have a look. And here you see the other Nubian in the Bob Larson uh, YouTube video. So here's the title, and here's his channel. He has uh, thousands of videos like this. I just picked out uh, two randomly. Pharaoh Macronos is very good and always closes his eyes just in time. Mr. Putin, the Black Prince, here to the right, is very good at hiding his demonic possession. These two here, they always close their eyes just in time. Mr. Hitler here, was not very good at hiding his demonic possession and closing his eyes in time. And also, therefore, Hitler can be seen doing the delta hands of the concept of three symbol representing the masters. So here he doesn't close his eyes right in time to hide his demonic possession. And here he's doing the delta hands, which is a, a triangle. And it's the concept of three, our masters. That's why all the masters, they all do it. And as we know, many musicians do the delta three. Also, many politicians do it in some way or form like Trump, Merkel, Erdogan, etc. And also Pharaoh Macronos does the Delta Three. So this is Pharaoh Macronos, 
This is Josephine Baker, and here's her coffin. They probably dug the rest up, the remains. And this here is the French Pantheon, where they put all the heroes for the French elite. And here it says November 30th, 2021. So after all the 2018 stuff I showed you, now we go on with the 2021. There's more in between, but the video would have taken too long otherwise. So, and therefore, on November 30th, 2021, Pharaoh Macronos initiated and integrated the Nubian dancer and singer Josephine Baker into the French pantheon. Josephine Baker was of course a XLBS pink list killer and totally demon possessed. As these images and screenshots of this old video sequence will prove to you. So here it says, world famous voodoo dancer. So, well, for the elite, of course. And where does the elite come from? Well, they come originally from River Nile, from ancient Egypt. So this was probably the sort of dancers and completely demon possessed, as you can see in the eyes. And the, and the footage shows it really. This was the sort of demon dances they did in ancient Egypt. Hey, Pharaoh Macronos. I'll show you the entire video sequence on my channel, Sean Ross, within a few days and together with some other stuff. So here it says, demon possessed XLBS Nubian voodoo dancer. And the proofs are all here, you know. And here they're carrying the coffin with the remains of the voodoo dancer into the French pantheon. You know, the whole thing, it looks pharaonic here, the, the pantheon, the name and everything. And, and, the, and the voodoo dance as well. Look at the mouth, it's really strange, you know. It's something pulling it up here. Like uh, like like the Batman clown, you know. The, or the, you know what I mean, yeah? And this guy, well, he knows it. You know, he's into Freemasonry, of course. And why is the red carpet here? Hey, always the red carpet. I, sh I, I explained that to you. Well, because it represents the red house, the Pertasser, the old world order of Pharaoh, the vertical rule, old world order, where they come from. So it's all related to River Nile, this and this and this and this, well, everything. So here you can see an old videos from the 1920s, uh, Josephine Baker here. You see her eyes all white, it's all rolling. Um, entirely demon possessed. Eh? I mean, you don't get famous if you don't, you know, if you don't take their demons, you, you won't get famous. And um, especially not, uh, well, I'm not allowed to say that. So I will put the video somewhere else, uh, maybe on my Brighton channel. So the proofs are here. And uh, I, I'll put the link anyway of this here in the description. So you can watch it yourself. And here in this video from 1927, she's doing it again. And also the tongue unnaturally long sticking out. So, and, and we all have to accept it as great art, you know, where in fact it's just uh, a voodoo dance, uh, demon possessed. And uh, well, we have to accept it as great art and she's been put in the pantheon because the media talk about it because it's well in those days there was no television it was in the cinema 
because Pharaoh and the elite, they want it so, and the people just thought, oh, it's, on, it's in the cinema, it's on television, it's in the media, that must be really great art, you know, otherwise it wouldn't get there. But in fact, it's, uh, it's not. So you can see this on this channel here. And I'll put the link in the description. And maybe I'll put it somewhere on another channel. So here is uh, the Wikipedia about Josephine Baker. Born in 1906 and died in 1975. So um, the body had been buried for like 50 years before it was dug out and put in the French pantheon by Pharaoh Macronos. And I show you here. This is about her personal life here in blue. Well, I'm not. I'm not going to pronounce all these words here. But um, well, she was a pink lace killer. So, like doing both, you know. And um, so this is why um, Pharaoh Macronos. She was a big hero for him, Nubian and pink lace killer. And that's why he put her in the Pantheon. And of course, she was a great dancer and, and um, a demon possessed. So three things, Nubian, pink lace killer, demon possessed. So you just stick to the demons and um, they'll get you into the Pantheon, you know. And here she was even having a, a chateau, a big castle, which you can see here. Uh, you know, there it is, a big castle. So built by the uh, the Dukes of Comon in Burgundy. No, it's not in Burgundy, Dordogne. In the um, 15th century, so in the Middle Ages. And um, so you just stick to the um, to the demons and you'll end up in a castle. You know, even, they even give you a castle. So, so I'll show you the castle. Oh, there it is. There's, there's the castle. I'll give you a better picture. So here's the castle, Chateau de Milande. Here it says, um, Josephine Baker. And um, she bought it in 1947. Huge castle. I wonder what this says here. Oh, I would really like to have a look at this here. So here it is in French, Chateau de Milan. Here. Here is the castle again. And. Uh, So, and it belonged to the Seigneur de Comon. And look at their coat of arms, you see? They're two unicorns. Well, that explains it. That's a uh, symbol of the, um, the pink list killers. You remember in the Ukrainian army? And then there are three, I suppose it's lions with a red crown of the... The Pertasser, the Red House of Pharaoh, where they, where they where they come from, the original vertical rule, three times because it's uh, the con the concept of three. I can't really read the um, the slogan on it, and um, but two uh, unicorns. Can I have a look? I don't. Yeah, well, there it is. Okay. Uh, the unicorns again, eh? So there's a lot more here in English. Oh, yeah, in French, sorry. 
famille de Comon. And here it says that uh, Jacques Lompard de Comon, he was a, um, he served uh, the king Henri IV as a king in the 16th century. And um, he came sleeping over a lot of times um, at uh, Josephine Baker's place uh, in the castle. Okay, well, that was in the Middle Ages. He he he, he came there a lot when uh, before, so not when Josephine Baker was there. Well, you can have a look at it yourself. So, and apparently, um, she was going Josephine Baker. She was going in and out in castles with queens and kings during her lifetime so this is quite peculiar i mean a um a simple nubian american in in those days you know well they uh in america they weren't worth very much due to the politics and everything so how is it possible then coming to europe you know she was being invited by kings and even getting her own castle so I don't think she's of the bloodline, although there are Nubians who are of the Pharaonic bloodline uh, because of the Pharaonic expansion all over the world. And um, so she must have uh, had incorporated some real Pharaonic demons inside. And that's why they, uh, they invited her as, as, as one of their own. Um, there's no other reason and it's very obvious i mean um it, the, the proofs are, are here you know it's not uh, disinformation or something we can all see it and we can see what uh, pharaoh macronos is doing you know he's only attracted to these kind of people the rest of the uh, of the, the french population population they don't even exist He's only swearing and shouting at them, you know. Well, when he is with uh, Nubian demon-possessed pink list killers, he's so happy, you know. You can see it. He's blushing. and So we can see it's going on, you know. I'm, I, I'm, I'm just docu documenting. So you hear me, YouTube, and, every, and all you, you who want to censor me, I'm just documenting, you know, because this is very important. The real evil things going on. And we can see it. So therefore, it's very important to compare and look at the history before and, and afterwards, what's going on before and what happened afterwards at the, after a certain event and compare one event with another. That's very important to find things out. So unmistakably, Pharaoh Macronos prefers only all the pink list killers and in particular the nubian ones over the normal population to give them medals and state honors i mean i would call this racism and it's getting very clear now pharaoh macronos did another summer solstice ritual on june 21st of 2019 decorating and knighting yet another pink list killer and who was already sir sir elton john with the french legion d'honneur which is the highest decoration you can get in france these xlbs pink list killers openly appeal for violence to kill the patriarchy which is no problem for the authorities nor for google and youtube which is full with their appeals for violence on t-shirts in protest demonstrations and tattoos the word patriarchy comes etymologically from the Latin word pater, meaning the father. 
So they want to kill the fathers for the Horus Matrix in order to raise the sons new and without any father's influence. Now they made it to the top of nations, being presidents and generals, giving the orders for wars and what not, walking openly hand in hand and giving each other medals of the highest order. Under the total dictatorship and censorship, I'm not allowed to say that this is an obvious XLBS conspiracy. So I'm not gonna say that, okay? And of course, the knighting ceremony happened again on summer solstice, June 21st on 2019. And again at the Elysee Presidential Palace, where the year before, Pharaoh Macronos held a pinkless killer voodoo dance party with white rolling eyes and tongues sticking out unnaturally far. So here you can see them walking hand in hand in the, you see the same pillars here of the presidential palace where there was the, the voodoo dance party with the rolling eyes and all that. Here it says June 21st, 2019. So one year later, one year later, uh, Inspector Clouseau. So always summer solstice, winter solstice. And here they make t-shirts with phases. There are ray guns, kill the patriarchy. That, that's what they advocating for, which is an appeal for violence. Nobody does a thing against it, you know? But when I talk about it, I get censored, I get terrorized, I get blacklisted, pinklisted, whatever. This is the world we're living in. You can see YouTube and, um, and Google is full of it. All these appeals for violence. You know, smash the patriarchy, kill the patriarchy. I mean, I mean, what did I do wrong? I mean, wh what did we man? What, what, what would he do wrong? I don't think Macron, um, Pharaoh Macronos and Sir Elton John are going to do anything against it. Eh? It's all over Google and YouTube, you know. I mean, I don't know what I did wrong. What did my sons did wrong? Nothing. I have to start protecting my children and my son against this appeal for violence because nobody else is going to do anything against it. You know, and certainly not this Macronos and the other guy keeping his hand. And then all the tattoos on YouTube and on Google, I mean, look at it, smash the patriarchy with a hammer. So that means they want to bash our heads in with a hammer until we are dead. You know, that's what these pink list killers want to do. I mean, and then I, I get censored because I talk about it. Uh, that it's, it's full of these tattoos. Well, I'm not gonna show them all, you know. One, one or two will do. Yeah, they're even openly talking here about dead man. I don't know what this means, the last word. And with a dagger, you know, I mean, this is obvious, eh? Appeal for violence and murder. I mean, why, why is this allowed? And talking about it, it isn't. I mean, it's a, it's a dictatorship. It's a big ship, eh? Yeah, look at it. This is YouTube. If you punch in, kill the patriarchy, well, it all starts here. Here, kill the patriarchy, title. So there are no machines that recognize this, eh? And there's no, well, YouTube doesn't do anything against it. If I talk about it, I get censored. They, they take away my channel and my video. Here, feminist, yeah, look at that. Here, destroy the patriarchy and another one. Uh, here, destroy the patriarchy. Look how they're laughing about it. Full of hate. Smashing the patriarchy. Kill the patriarchy. Oh, look at that face. It's even 
Look, it's written all over, you know, here, kill the patriarchy. Hey? So YouTube, you do something else instead of, you know, terrorizing me. Man, look, look at this title in there, you know. A total YouTube is helping in an appeal for violence here. Oh, it's 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 everywhere, you know. It's it's full of it. Kill the patriarchy. I mean, so mm, YouTube, you are in this alliance, you know. This is very criminal what you're doing. Okay, so leave me alone. So here you can see one of the videos. Here is the Pharaoh Macronos, and here's Sir Elton John. He also got a red thing. He's got his red thing here. And so this is the day when he got knighted uh, la, uh, la Légion d'Honneur. And uh, so you can see it here. Um, at the channel of Le Figaro, which is a newspaper. Now here is the um, the title. I guess there are many more videos, but uh, yeah, I didn't even look at the whole thing here. So, so you can see. I mean, um, I'm telling the truth here, and um, there are videos about everything I've been telling you here in this video. Well, we all know this picture of Sir Elton in relation to politics in the Ukraine and he killed the patriarchy, XLBS, appeal for violence of and by the Pink List Killers. So here we can see Sir Elton John yet again with another president, with President Poroshenko of the Ukraine. So how come that a simple singer gets at the political top seeing all these presidents? What do they have in common to achieve this? Well, I guess it's not music, <laughs> that's for sure. I would like to tell you so very much what they have in common. But due to the censorship and the dictators, the dictatorship's authorities, I'm not allowed to tell you. I can document, but I cannot make assumptions. For Pharaoh Macronos, it seems as if there are no other people existent than his pink list killer world especially the nubian ones there's no more doubt now concerning the overwhelming visual evidence and other that demonic voodoo rituals on summer solstice and other are being practiced by pharaoh macronos in the french elysee presidential palace, meaning that we're being ruled by XLBS pink list killers under demonic possession, transmitting their Kadesh stance signs and whatnot, while their eyes are rolling left and right and totally disappear upwards. Let's call it a halt, people. It's been enough now.